In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the SDK reference, which is going to show you how to use the SDK. So on the side here, at the top here, this is where we are, the setup. So after the setup, what we need is to look at the SDK reference. So click on that, and then we want to go under the mobile SDK for iOS native SDK. Okay, so now that we're here, you can see all the uh, things that we, we already use the init with launch options to initialize the one signal and these are some of the settings we don't need uh, prompting status tags so this is the one I said you can use to tag let's scroll down and look at some of the codes that's been written so um, here so here is saying get permission subscription state so you want to get in current notification and permission state so here you can you, you can see that you want to see if this user has been prompted you can use some of this code to get here here you also you can get the user status permit status you want to see if the user is subscribed but the one i'm looking for is the one that says the user id see that because if you want to send a push notification to a user, you need to get the user ID to send. So the user ID will be this one. Let's go to all users. The one that says player ID here. I have no idea what's been called player ID. That name always irritates me. They should have called it user ID like they did in their documentation. Like here, it should be user ID, not player ID. So I want to get this player ID. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's take this code here, which is the one that represents the status. So I'm going to go back to the Xcode. Where's our Xcode? Have I passed it? There you go. And uh, go to the view controller. And inside the view did load. Let's not forget to import one signal. Import one signal. And then I'm going to get the status by using OS permission subscribe state equals to one signal got get permission subscription state. Go back to the website and then I want to get the user ID. Okay, so we can use the status here to get the subscription state and then the user ID and then we're going to print the user ID. So let's run Let's run this and then look at what it gives us on the console. Oh, it's running on my device. I need to unlock it. So as you can see here, it's giving us the user ID to be start with 42C and it ends with 847. So let's go back to one signal dashboard. It start with 42C and it hands it 847. You can see that this is the one, the player ID. This is the one that we need to actually send the push notification. So it is quite important you know how to get this value because anytime a user is using an app and that user has already accepted the push notification to be sent to them by one signal, this is the value you would need to send them the push notification. So you should find a way to save that value maybe in the user default, or if you want to save it to the back end, you can always save that. What I normally do is every time the user logs in, um, I will save this value back to, to their user object. So if I have a backend app where there are users and they're authenticated, I will save that value in a field I usually call it the UID, which is the user ID. And the UID field will always be updated. Anytime the user change the device, anytime they log into a new device, I will change that. I will save this value that they have for push notification so that if somebody else send them a push notification, I can always query this user value back and then use it to send the push uh, notification to that user. So that's how you get the UID of the user. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to actually send that push notification from the device using the UID. Thank you.